Hello everybody and welcome back to the Terran campaign in Brood War, where we're on mission number two. Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian shipyards. These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in dry dock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. We should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, uh, the turn coat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the captain and myself, Lieutenant Doran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. Well, that was, you know, vaguely exciting. So we need to steal battle cruisers and defeat the Dominion Strike Force. Well, let's see what we've got to do this with, shall we? Medics automatically heal nearby organic units. Mix medics together with your marines or fire bats to increase their life expectancy. Okay. Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. Okay. So do we control these dropships? Okay, so these guys over here are pilots. I'm guessing we need to get the pilots to the battle cruisers. We've got a bunker here, which is kind of exciting. We've also got this to start with. So, you know, that's exciting. I wonder how quickly the medics heal in this game. I have to wonder, because we need to take out this bunker in order to proceed. There's no doubt about that. So let's just go on in. Do they auto-heal? Yes, they do. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, and then we can patch them up like that. That's pretty nice. Okay, so let's get a pilot in this battle cruiser. We need to acquire these three battle cruisers. We don't get the battle cruiser, it would appear. Where is it going? Is it going to take out any of these bunkers? No, it's just leaving? Okay. And we also don't get any vision from it. Well, that's a little disappointing. Well, I'd very much like our medics in the back. Come on. There you go. Excellent. Okay. So we now need to take out this bunker. So let's go. And medics, you guys just run around and heal. There we go. Yeah, kill those fire bats. Yeah, we're not having any problems here. So much energy from those medics. That is kind of extreme. We've got another bunker up there that we're certainly going to want to take care of. Let's get our marines up over here. Oh. We've got ourselves this bunker. Oh, we lost a marine. Pathing OP. Pathing OP. Only the one marine. 
Only the one Marine. Excellent. Okay, let's get this pilot up to here, and we'll take over this battle cruiser. And then we've just got the one pilot left. I was really hoping to not lose a Marine there, but I just kind of wandered into range before I was prepared. Okay. Kind of like that. Okay, heal him. Yeah, we're good. Get up here. There we go. I do think four medics is maybe a little overkill. But, oh, there is a bunker there. There we go. And the medics should be able to hold that. Or, you know, wander right into melee range against the fire bats. That works too, I guess. Okay, well, the third battle cruiser is right up here. So, uh, that was really easy. A little too easy. And we've covered barely a quarter of the map. Battle cruiser operational. Okay, so now we have another squad here. We've got three ghosts. And we've got three medics here. Oh. Okay. Where's the tank? Up here? Optical flare. Did someone page me? The other thing we could, of course, do is try to cloak our ghosts in. So let's see about doing that. Hmm. What's up here? Nothing? There's literally nothing up here? I guess it's just the tank because we would have to walk up through here. Okay. So if it's just the tank, can we get up here? Is the question I have now. It looks like the answer is no. So we're pretty much gonna have to blind the flank. Bind to the flank. That's those are words. <laughs> we'll have to blind the tank. Okay. There it is. Okay. How long does that last? I wonder. Well, let's come on up here. We'll have these guys here ready to defend, if necessary. Okay. There's one battle cruiser. I'm, I am. Yep, I figured they had a tank up there. Okay. I need you to come on up here, optical flare that tank. There we go. Okay. We'll get this battle cruiser operational. Excellent. And we'll come on down here. I assume there's another tank there. So we'll have this. No, don't go that close. We'll have this medic. Oh, hello. We need to re optical flare this. We did not get it? Hang on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's just run at it then. If it does that little damage. Okay, it did some damage there. There we go. We should be fine. There we go. Okay. So we have some nukes. Excellent. What do we want to nuke, is the question. Well, we want to nuke that. There's no doubt about that. Oh, yep, we want to nuke that as well. Okay, I'm going to use one ghost, cloaked, to get up here a little bit. Oh, we've actually... Oh, my. We've got a science vessel there. Hmm. Well, that's kind of exciting. Can we get the... What's the range on the nuke? Like, how close do we have to get? Do we have to assault that with the Goliaths? I'm gonna go ahead and cloak this ghost and scout out up here and see what we can find. That science vessel is obnoxious. Maybe we can get up here. Oh my. How did they detect that that far away? I still think that's the right way to do it. Hmm. 
Maybe if we come over here instead first. Drop the new click right there. Yeah, that's more like it. So we're going to take out this little cluster here. Let's see how much damage that actually does. It takes some time to fly, doesn't it? There we go. Okay, that's more like it. Wait. Where did the ghost go? Was the ghost expended? That's a little exciting, if so, because we need to get that. Was the ghost too close, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure where our ghost went. Do we have additional ghosts down here? I mean, there are additional ghosts, but we can't transport them. Call the shot. Well, Never know what hit him. let's uh, let's see about going over this way then. I hear that. Never know and maybe what coming hit up him. here and dropping I a nuke right there. Nuclear launch detected. Okay, now I'm gonna see if this ghost can actually walk away. Hmm, he appears to be stuck. I cannot move him. Now I can. Okay. There we go. Excellent. So now we just need this spot over here. And I think the best way to go about that would be to go over here, as far up this way as we can, and drop a nuke basically right there. No, don't go there. Where are you going? I want you over here. Oh my. Okay. So again, that is a ridiculous detection radius from the science vessel. Maybe we were supposed to use our goliaths to kill them? But at this point, I feel like we can't really make our way through here very effectively. Hmm. Yeah, like... We can push it that way, but... That immediately kills them. What do we have left for nukes? Two nukes, I think? And there are more ghosts here, but we need more ghosts, for sure. Did someone page me? Like, we have I'm no way to get in there at this point. And I don't think this is going to be effective. We're probably just... Yeah, but what I want is another ghost. I mean, it's nice that you're giving me another pilot and all, but I want another ghost. Because we're going to need to clear out quite a lot of enemies, especially over here. This is going to be super rough. Like, I'm not sure how I was expected to get there if they can see from, like, here. If they can see that far. That's kind of extreme. Hmm. On my way. Right away. Well, Are pilots, you? Oh, I want you guys to stay back. back a little bit. Did someone page me? Stay. You too, medic. No, not, not you. Doing. There you go. The nature of your medical emergency. I'm on the job. Okay. The nature of your medical emergency. I want you to stay back here. Stay the nature okay. Of your medical emergency. So we were able to clear that out. So that's something. Standing by. Stay the nature of your medical there we go. Where are you going, Medic? Get back here. Excellent. So we are able to get some of these, but not really all. I really don't think we can get this. It did drop us two more pilots. Okay. Pilot, get up here. Can you just walk? Yes, you can. Okay, so we can get this battle cruiser then, but I am really concerned about getting this one. Maybe we just run at them? But we need to fight our way up this way. There we go. Get in here, medic. Okay, we're we're fine, I think. Yeah, we're absolutely fine. These medics are really strong. Whoa! Never mind. There was a mine there. Oh boy. Okay. 
I want all three of you to just run at the battle cruiser. Maybe one gets there. Go, go, go. No, don't pathfind that way. Nope. Hmm. What's up? I don't think this is gonna work. I really, really don't. Especially now that we've only got two pilots. Maybe we just kill them and see what happens? Okay. So we did what we could. There we go. There we go. Kill that ghost. So we did not manage to get these three, but I guess it is what it is. So we've got ourselves these siege tanks here. I'm going to wait until they are no longer force fielded. We have these pilots here, but we don't know actually what's up here. So let's just explore up this way a little bit. Hello, siege tank. Okay, so with that tank there, it would certainly be interesting to cloak our... Well, do they have any detectors up here, though? Uh, guys, no, 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 no. Don't go up there. Just hold your position here. Okay. Let's move our tanks up this way a little bit. And I would like to siege our tanks right here. There we go. Excellent. And now we can get a pilot up over here. And who knows, maybe later we can come back and get these, or maybe not. We'll, we'll find out. It's kind of weird to have optional objectives in StarCraft, though. Okay, so we got one there. Now, where can these tanks actually go, is the question. Can these guys get up here? No, don't go that way. Just stay put. Yeah, that's fine. Just keep hitting that Goliath. What could go wrong? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and siege here, and we'll take out this bunker. Your forces are under attack. There we go. I'm here. I'm not sure if we lost someone there or if they did. That fire bat will go down nicely. We've got a siege tank up there, and I think we need to cloak our ghosts and go after him. Hopefully they don't have stealth detection up there. That would suck. They do not. Oh, they do. They do. They have a science vessel. Okay. Kill him quick. Aha! Uh -huh. The science vessel! What a jerk! Okay. Of course they had a science vessel up there. That's okay. We will be able to use our siege tanks to huge advantage here. Theoretically. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, that was unfortunate. Very unfortunate, indeed. But we'll see what we can actually get. We'll need to get a pilot down here, for sure. And if we can't go that way, what way can we go, is the question. Because that siege tank is still hugely influential down there. Battle cruiser operational. If we could use some of these battle cruisers, that would be huge. It's all this science vessel's fault. Call the shot. Hmm, maybe what I need to do is come back with the ghost at this point. We do nothing to it. We do nothing. Okay, run away, run away. Uncloak? I just can't believe how little ghosts actually do to siege tanks. That is insane. How doing? I'm going. No sweat. Okay. So how are we going to push past this nonsense? Good question. Ghost Our ghost is now ready to go, so let's come on up here and see if we can't finish off this tank, but we do nothing to tanks. And the science vessel was right there. Man, it's very annoying. Hmm. 
how to go about doing this then. There's no way around. We have to go through the tank. I don't want to risk our marines on it. That's for sure. We do like three damage per hit. Every other hit. Three damage every other hit. Okay. Get down here. There we go. Okay. We're healed up. Oh, we didn't cloak. I completely forgot to cloak. Oh boy, this is going so well. Well, we can attack from down here. We're doing basically nothing to it. Still. And now we have to back off. Get out of there. Come on, medics. Okay. So why do we do so little to it? It has no vehicle plating upgrades. We just do no damage. Okay, let's recloak. 15 damage. Still 15. 12. 9. 6. 3. And it's finally dead. Okay. So now we can bring these guys up here. Excellent. And maybe kill that science vessel that's been so pesky. Nope! Because of course there's a tank right there. Hmm. Can we maybe drop our tank right here? Oh boy, he can see that? Wait, what was giving him vision? I'll rip that tank. Hmm. Well, I'm not convinced that we can actually do this. <laughs> like, we need these guys down here ASAP. But they have very little health left. Because these guys apparently have vis vision on everything. No, don't go wandering that way. They apparently have vision on literally everything around here. Which is really obnoxious. So, the question then is, if we were to go right here, would our medics be able to keep up with the siege tank damage? Let's find out. Oh, there's double siege tanks? And the answer is no. Oh, actually the answer is yes. Our medics can keep up with that. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll try to kick the science vessel out of here. Just hold position right now. If it's going to keep coming back in, we'll just keep killing it. And then there's another siege tank right there. There we go. Okay. Come on down here, guys. This is going to be kind of exciting. The real question is, with that science vessel dead, do they have a detector up there? Let's find out, shall we? This ghost is going to go ahead and cloak. And there's a science vessel. Okay. Well, go ahead and uncloak then. And let's see about holding position right here, since it's apparently just patrolling around. Let's clear out the science vessel. Can we step in a little bit closer? Yes, we can. Okay, it'll die eventually. And with that, our ghost should be able to clear that all out. Theoretically. As well as this siege tank. Okay. Well, that science vessel is almost dead. 13 HP. There we go. Finally. Okay. I agree, Ghost, with, with the finally comment. So, take out that siege tank. That is your one and only goal right now. There's probably another one up here, is my guess. But with this siege tank dead, we will then be able to focus on this bunker. 
Does this canister rifle, like, do more damage the closer we are to our target or something? Maybe. But we're starting to chunk down the bunker, and there's nothing they can do about it. So as long as we're patient from here on out, I think we're good. I don't think they have any additional stealth detection that I know of. We know that there's this one additional tank here. There's probably a tank or two up there. Call the shot. We have plenty of energy to take out this bunker, and as soon as we do, I'm going to use one of our low health pilots to go take this beacon, and then we'll scout up this direction. Excellent, the bunker is now starting on fire. It will start burning down soon. It's not quite to that point yet. Now it's getting there. How much energy do we have left? 70? Okay. That's, a, that's getting a little bit spooky. Considering that we're getting close to getting it down, but we're also running out of energy. I'm going to want to decloak our ghost here pretty soon and just generate some energy back up. Also, it is getting on towards time to put in a cut. This episode is a little less successful than I would have liked. But yeah, now it's burning down. Excellent. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put that cut in here, and next episode, we will finish up this mission. See you all then.